Hi guys! For those of you who are returning to our channel and have watched a couple of our videos in the past, welcome back. We're so happy to see you again. And for those of you who are new here, my name's Ellie and I'm a second year architecture student here at IIT. Hi everyone, my name's Elizabeth and I'm a second year biomedical engineering major. For today's video, we really wanted to focus on our favorite areas to study on campus. Fall is in the air and it's spooky season, but not the one that you're thinking of. That's right guys, it's midterm season. It's like spooky season 2.0 that no one ever told you about. So now is the time for if you can't really focus studying in your room, grab some friends and go to any of these places, respecting COVID restrictions of course, and just really sit down and grind and make yourself feel confident in your test taking abilities. So with all that being said, let's get into 10 study spots on campus. first place to study on campus that we want to share with you guys today is actually a shout out to all of my architecture specific majors. So the Graham Library is located in the basement of Crown Hall and it's a super cool place to just chill out and study and be surrounded by all things architecture. It has a ton of uh, resources available for students to check out and that includes things like books, um, drawings, as well as even uh, movies and my personal favorite thing, our chair collection. We have collections of all different types of chairs that have been designed by famous designers and architects from all over the world. My personal favorite is kind of basic. It's the Barcelona chair. It was designed by Mies van der Rohe, who did a uh, master plan our entire campus and started the IIT School of Architecture, which is awesome. So the next great study spot is our on-campus library, which is open 24-5. So when you first walk in, you'll see this really open space that's great for collaborative studying and group projects where more talking happens. We have these little portable charging stations all over the place, as well as a ton of whiteboards that you can work on. Here's a ton of public computers that you can use. Also, this is where Office of Technology Services is and the Research Help Desk. And if you're more into silent studying, then on the opposite side, we have individual desks and quiet tables that you can work at for that quiet environment. The next place that we want to share with you guys today is actually our student center. So that's MTCC McCormick Tribune Campus Center, right smack in the middle of campus. There are a lot of really nice study spots as well as just general socialization spots in this building. Um, my personal favorite is the Pritzker Club, right by the front, right by the welcome desk of the building. There's even little study pods there if you want to go back and just camp out for the day. There's also the Perch, which is right near the post office, just behind Pritzker Club. And that's also a good place to study right by window, so you always have really nice light. Kaplan is definitely a fan favorite of IIT students. Whenever I'm in here, I just always feel smarter for some reason because it's super futuristic and modern, so I love doing homework here. Also, the design itself is really cool. There's this monochrome look going on everywhere, so Here's one of the stairwells. So when you first walk in, you'll come to the pitch and this is where a lot of lectures will happen. Also, there is a cafe and this is where you can use your meal plan at. So definitely go check out the sandwiches and the different drinks they have, it's super good. And you can also do a homework here with at the little tables. So upstairs, there are some more tables with a lot of natural light. This is a conference room and we have team station area. So if you wanna work with a group in these cute little cubicle things, you can do that. And lastly, we have the singular pods for you to do some individual studying. So Kaplan is home to a lot of different classes. So this is an example of a classroom and also our IPRO classes, which you will take as an upperclassman. The fifth place that we'll share with you guys for studying on campus is the Retaliata Atrium. This is located in our JTREC building, our John T. Retaliata Engineering Center. So for those of you who have been on our virtual tour, I'm sure you're very familiar with this space. It's one of our great collaborative atriums or collaborative spaces that we have on campus. 
all or most of the chairs and tables will move so you can make your study group as big or as small as you want. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but I lovingly refer to those green rolly chairs as bumper car chairs. That is not their intended use. I will not be held responsible for whatever you do with that information. But um, the space is really awesome. That back wall is entirely whiteboards and uh, the screens on them are actually Bluetooth. So you can write out any problems that you have or want help solving. Um, you can uh, practice your presentations. There's also an upstairs space that is very similar to the downstairs area, just a little bit more quiet most of the time because you don't have people coming in and out of the space as much. So Chicago is definitely known for being snowy and windy, but during the warmer months, it's beautiful. So I really recommend going outside and studying there. We have picnic benches and they're actually solar powered. So at the bottom, there is an outlet that you can plug in your phone or your laptop to. The seventh place that we'll share with you guys today are the lounges, both big and small, inside of one of our more traditional dorms, MSV, or McCormick Student Village. So there are about five dorm halls in the building, and at the end of each hall on each floor are small lounges for students to use to study. These are really nice places, really comfy with lots of seating. There's often tables, um, whiteboards for if you want to work out any problems, and there's also TVs. So if you have an HDMI cord, they easily hook up like a gaming console to there, and it's a fun way to take a break with a couple friends. MSV also has three bigger main lounges on the main floor, the first floor of MSV. Um, in the red lounge, there is a really nice computer setup. So if you don't have your own computer on campus, you can use those for free. And we also have um, scanners and printers accessible to students in MSV, which is super nice. Um, the far lounge is really nice not only for that cinema space, also because it has all of the students, all of MSV students' mailboxes right there in the dorm halls. So another great outdoor study spot is the MSV Courtyard. So this is right next to MSV and I feel like it's often overlooked so definitely make sure to keep it in mind when it's a nice day outside. There's picnic benches and there's also a volleyball net so after studying you can go play some volleyball if you'd like. The last place that I want to share with you guys today for studying on campus are the RV lounges. They have um, one on each floor. They also have TVs and they also have really great views because um, these ones, unlike the ones in MSV, are surrounded by glass. It's a great place to gather with friends and study. Last but definitely not least is Kasich Hall, which is our newest dorm building on campus that is nine floors high with an amazing view. So first we'll look at the basement. It has a ton of seating and that cute little green area in the back there. And there's also a mini conference room that has a really big TV and different computers that you can use. On each floor of Kasich Hall, there are lounges with lots of couches and tables and again, amazing views that overlook downtown Chicago, as well as one of our athletic fields. So this is what the view looks like while you're studying. There's lots of tables and outlets in the tables and a ton of chairs. And while you're studying, you get to look at the beautiful skyline. Thank you so much for watching this Talon's Top 10 video on places you can study on campus. Hope you enjoyed it and happy studying.